Um, people are clowning uh, Chief Keith because uh, they say you know he getting older. Although he like what twenty eight, but he got a beard and stuff now. So you know they're saying that he older. He washed up. Damn, that's crazy. <laughs> Damn, man. The real know that man ain't. The real know that man. I'm twenty eight. That man. That's fraud. That man ain't a man. That man ain't old. He just that's, that's he, he just up. did what I did, man. I got. I guess I look old today. I ain't got a haircut. Okay, man, I go get an edge old. up. I go get an edge up. I'm good. I look like I'm 21 maybe, again. Maybe, maybe like for maybe from like you know exposure wise, he old from the time that he popped out. But that man only 28 years old. I'm 28. You kidding? I seen the picture. That's crazy. It, it's just, it's just, bro. If Chief Key fell off, then you, then you fell off. Oh my he God. still, he still a millionaire. In fact, how he fall off and you still watch him from the same place that you watch. You watched him be a kid, exactly. <laughs> Bogus bum. He can't be finish. washed up. He in Cali. <laughs> like every cuss. new artist keeping his name alive. <laughs> every new artist. And they tell you, bro, I, I told somebody the other day, Chief Keith is the most influential artist within the last 15 years. I'll put it to you like this. I'll put it to you like this. The whole 2010s. Ever since Chief Keith blew up, that man moved successfully and has stayed in L.A. ever since. Yeah, it's no reason. But You, you know gotta, how expensive L.A. is? Man, but you got to look at it like this. Ain't no reason for him to go back home and do none of that. No, nah, but I ain't even. I'm just talking about like money-wise. We're just talking about Bro, like I value. tell people all the time, fam, say Chief Go look up the cost of living in he's L.A. He's a gateway artist. He's about to, uh, what, Big Mercy of Lago, so he got it. Lamborghini, man, he, man, bro, he just was on BET. Go look at the cost of living in L.A. He just then go look at the type of neighborhoods that Chief Keith lives in. He doing these. That brother fine. Collabs with big brands. <laughs> He fine. Yeah. He all right. religion. He just doing one. He with just Ed did a collab Hardy. with Ed. He doing one with Ed Hardy. Yeah, mm. man, okay. They when you, they're when, not. When your YouTube. When your yeah, YouTube he, he chilling. Hit your account. It bothers you. That man don't pay for you. He really, bro. He not chilling. Just, 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 he made just it out. Like man, alone. most most <laughs> niggas from Chicago I ain't gonna lie. That's what bro, when we when mean. we live to a certain age, bro, nah, we be fact. we be happy we alive, bro. That like like that nigga said about that nigga, bro. He don't go to Chicago. Ain't that he can't go home. It ain't that he can't go to Chicago, is that, bro? Why would I go there? Like, man, if you want to see me, you know how to get to me. Bro, if you know, you know. Once you, you know how to get to me. Once you hit 15, it's like crazy. Once you hit 18, oh, Lord. Once you, you know hit 21, all right. you ain't heard nothing guy. from the baby you mamas. 25, you really you really just out here freestyling. 28, you better leave that Look, man alone. You just, you know he, I was just about to say. You I was know, an active BD from Chicago. Stop playing you know with him. You know he all right. My man's in the back made a great point. Oh, his baby mama seem like they happy and well taken care of. Well taken care of. Well conversation. Even the ones he don't mess with. So, your hey. baby mama hitting your phone right now asking you about that little money. Stop so playing with that man. I don't think he hurting for nothing. <laughs> he got to be old to watch. Up. I think he's fine, bro. He got, he just, he doing he got exactly why he got the NBA. You got to think he got on the he got the NBA OVO collaboration, bro. He got oh the Chicago son. Bulls that he's endorsed by the sponsorship. Team. My man, does, my like, man bro. hits the stage for model model uh, uh, expos and stuff. Like he he sports clothes for for yeah, for like, like, he, bro, like he's fine. He influ like far as influence, like bro, your favorite rapper get they they little dress style. They learn a lot from him, bro. So I don't know. He, just me? saying, the nigga washed up. Niggas that just country, that country, you got to catch on Expedia to go travel to. No, he yeah, just goes so. there, fam. Like you feel me? It's I like that. You. He chilling. What you think of like the, the new Chicago <laughs> generation, like the the folks who like you know 14, 15, 16, 17 Do you think? They yeah, they respect Chief Keith like that because they might not be necessarily Man. listening to him, right? You know what I'm saying? They grew up on. I'll put it like this. Fact. I got a point in Chicago where I say before Chief Keith and after Chief Keith, and Mm. Before Chief Keith, we didn't have, I don't care what nobody say, bro, and I'm saying this being from Chicago, we didn't have a definitive sound. We didn't have a definitive sound. We didn't. We did not, like, house music, been out forever. We been doing that. Footwork and juke and all that shit. We been doing that. Mm -hmm. That, 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 mm -hmm. that but a definitive. Never mainstream, too, really. Yeah, but when I'm talking about a definitive sound, common ain't, no disrespect. Common ain't Chicago, bro. Uh, who else? Yay. Yay. Much as I love Yay, and Yay from off the south, south shore. Had that's Twister. that's not Chicago. What about Twister. Twister. Twister from the west side. That that's Chicago, but that's like it's a room. A, it's at a slant. That's at a room. That's like at a in a room. That's in like a room, and even then, you rap fast. You really, when you rapping, like, who pioneered that rap fast style? 
Bone. Bone Thugs and Harmony. Shout out 901 PG, man. So with the nigga with 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 Twister and all them, it was like, okay, do or die, po pimping. That's a small room. That's some West Side shit. Yeah. West Side niggas pimps. That's Don Juan, Madison. That's Stay Blade. That's that's West Side shit. When Chief Keith came, it opened the door for gang culture rap. Mm. That opened the door for gang culture rap. But like, how many niggas you knew from Chicago that was GD before Chief Keith that was saying that they was GD and was claiming it on wax? Y'all, most right. niggas never heard of a BD unless you was in Houston. Fact. Somewhere like that, cause that's where they that's where they be at, Houston, or you was like some shit, or, or Milwaukee or somewhere, or, or Ohio was the only way you heard of a BD or something like that. Majority of the niggas you never heard of a BD. Most niggas don't didn't even know what a four corner hustler was or on phone them or none of that shit was. Nope. When Chief Keith open came out, he bought in what majority of Chicago is a gangster fired ass city. Drill rap literally is the sound like it, it's the it's the sound of Chicago. That was the sound of that's the that was a, he came with the sound of Chicago. When I seen all them niggas in the in that one room and don't like, I was like, oh, we do that all the time. We be just chilling at my OG crib. Facts. I saw that and was like, we just niggas can't be on the For blocks. Like, niggas, we niggas can't be on the blocks. Niggas rolling up blunts, got the bottles, and we kicking it in the crib playing Madden or something. 